most people of the world, Matthew back with you here in Novora Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Threads of Fate. So, last time we made our way here into the Ghost Temple as part of a split mission along with Princess Mint, who has gone off to the Gamul Forest, in order to get a list of items that are required to bring some life back into a being known as the Primer Doll that we found that was dwelling within the cube that we found within the atelier of Grand Magician Elroy. And so, we are in the process of getting a pair of gauntlets and a pair of solarays here in the Ghost Temple, while Mint is getting a pair of earrings from Gamul Forest. We already have one of the gauntlets and both solarays, but now we're continuing on here in the Ghost Temple by changing over to the Spectre, who has a water breathing ability. And we need to put out this fire, because putting out the fire is the only way we can advance here. So let's go ahead and put out the fire. And now that it's extinguished... Yeah, another crazy trap! And if you saw from the previous episode, there are some good traps here. Yeah, something doesn't look right, because... Oh, no wonder this place looks so familiar. This is where I came in. Yeah, we've gone in around in a circle, and the door that was locked behind us in the previous episode is now open, and so now we can advance. And now... The other door is open. Huh? That door was closed just a minute ago. And so now we have to go investigate. I wonder how it opened. And then... Who has a look at the ground? Footprints? They look pretty fresh. Yeah, someone else is here with us. I mentioned at the end of the last episode we'd have some special guests joining us. Now let's walk over. We can't go over here, at least not right now. But, we're being watched. What was that? And so now we have to go and take a look. There's something there! And then, composing ourselves, relax, I got this. And so now, he goes after the target and prepares to strike, but what? Yeah, we've been followed by Elena. Yeah, the dumb blonde who thought for the longest time that Rue was a pottywog. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Do you know where this is? Of course, silly. It's the ghost temple. Well, it's a good thing I followed you. You sound lost. Come on, let's explore this place together. Um, thanks for coming, Elena, but... I think you should go home. This place is really dangerous. There are monsters and traps everywhere. This is gonna be so much fun. Come on, Rue! Yeah. Dumb blonde that she is. This place is too dangerous for you. Come on, I'll walk you back to town. But... Yeah, and as we try and make her leave... Come on, let's go! Yeah, as we try to leave, yeah. The door that we came in through to get in there... It's now locked behind us. I think it's locked! Yeah, it is. I can't believe this. Yeah, all of a sudden, we this game has turned from Threads of Fate into Silent Hill. Wait a minute, how did I get in here? Oh yeah, I came in through this door. Really? When I got here, it was locked. Well, what should we do now? I guess we'll have to find another exit. Alright, Elena, this place is dangerous, so make sure you stay behind me, okay? Okay, wow, I'm so excited! I'll go ahead of you, and you can come up when I tell you. Alright, I won't move until you tell me. So yeah, we can use the triangle button to call Elena. Let's go. Alright, so... You can... If you press the triangle button, she'll follow you like this. So yeah, you can stay in motion. You don't have to stop and go and stop and go. Um... Okay, yeah, we want to come over here because the there's a switch over here we have to strike with our axe. And then, let's have Elena follow us into the next room. So, let's walk a little. 
She, this place gives me the creeps. Yes, why did you come here? Yeah, we don't know what's up ahead, so be careful. Okay. Oh, I guess I should tell you this now. I'll probably have to use my powers pretty soon. That means I might transform right in front of you. Do you think you'll be okay? Don't worry. I love watching you transform. Even if you turn into a really creepy monster, I know it's you, so I'll be okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, when you transform, please try to pick something that's cute. <laughs> yeah, that's Elena for you. Okay, let's go. And so, our first stop is to deal with this pit. We now have control again, and as we approach... Now both doors are locked. So, when we make our move and try and summon Elena... Once she gets towards where we are... Uh-oh! Yeah, now the doors are unlocked, and now we have to... Yeah, Elena, get back! Yeah, run for your life, girl, as I beat up these monsters! Swing over the fences! Get them out of here! Alright, they're done. Or are they? No, nope, more is still coming. We still got more to deal with. Take the potion. And yeah, they're not done yet. But they are now. Yeah, a, thir a third puppet didn't come for some reason. Okay, come on. But, the walls are shaking. I think there are monsters behind them. Yeah, we're not, we're not done with these doors yet. Yeah, the monsters are mad that we killed their brethren. So now we have to try and open these doors, and now that we do, with a classic Scooby-Doo spin move. So now we gotta bust up these skeletons before we can continue on. But, there are no threats. We can easily dispatch them. And now we have to do the same at the other door. So let's start pounding stuff up. Pounding and beating these creepy ghosts, the puppets. Let's teach these Amazons a lesson, if I can stop being pinned in the corner. Holy cow, they are ganging up on me here, wow! At least I got them. And there's even a door over here to deal with. Yeah, more stuff to- and more stuff too, if I can- Okay, I guess I must have killed off whatever was there. Plus we got the treasure, which is a moonstone. This is a special item we can sell off later, once we're done in here. Alright, so now Elena's back with us. And now it's time to continue on. So, this door is locked too. How do I open this one? I don't see a pedal store or anything. Yeah, we don't have the luxury of the pedal store this time around. However, we do, by virtue of having this. Yeah, you didn't see it me kill this thing, but it was there. A stinger. This is an enemy that we saw back in Coronal Forest. And we actually need this thing to come over here. Hey, I wonder where this leads to. So yeah, we now want to use this stinger in order to advance, because it's the only thing that'll fit through this hole. Plus, you have to also fight the stingers as you go along, and these things actually can hurt you legitimately. If you, if you get take damage from them, they do pretty good damage. Um, come on. Yeah, there we go, we get a night stone. Which is another thing we can sell. Alright, knocked it over. Yeah, we're relying on squirrels to get us through. <laughs> but hey, whatever it takes, right? So that door is now open, and Elena rejoins us. So now we'll advance to this door. Follow me, Elena. One left, two left, and then we have another locked door. We have to hit the axe with the axe, move the handle, and we can continue on. But as we advance along, we now have a divide and conquer situation. Elena! Woo, help, don't leave me! Calm down. Lower the switch in there and it'll open the door. Really? Okay, I'll try it. And so, that's exactly what she'll do. So now, run Elena before it closes. Thank goodness. Boom. And so now we have another switch to open. However, the handle flies off here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But the door does open. So let's continue on. But this time, 
And it happens again. Yeah, not again. Oh no! What should I do? It's okay. Just lower the switch again. But... The switch is broken! That's right. Jeez, what should I do? Well, what we should do... Well, first we're gonna go in here. Because there's more enemies that we can fight. And more monster coins to obtain. Alright, let's get you and you. Then, we want to come over to the left. Open the door. Yeah, you may have noticed the pedestal that was in that one room be from before with the switches. Well, there's another one over here. But, there's a catch. We can't access it unless we are a particular monster. Yeah, you have to transform into a monster for this. Specifically, you want to change into um, the puppet, which is no longer on my list. <laughs> Alright, we'll just go in the door and we'll reset. We'll reset and then we'll get ourselves a new puppet coin to use. Now that we have one, let's finish off the specter and the other puppets. Alright, so now that we're the puppet again, walk over to the pedestal, and now we can activate it. Yeah, only as a puppet can you activate that pedestal. And this will now take us back a couple of rooms. So we'll go ahead and hit the switch again, open the door, make our way back in here, and then, in true Silent Hill fashion, Elena is captured. Woo, help me! But as we try and save her, the puppets take her away. Like, ah oh man, it really is Silent Hill. But, not to fear, because we still have the puppet coin to use. Which means we can follow those puppets where they went. And so we're gonna get taken back over here. Then we want to change back. And then pound away on the skeletons so we can get the heating potions from them. And so now, I believe we want to go back. Oh no, we don't want to go back. Oh yeah, okay, I, I remember how now this works. I remember now how this works. We have to yet use that other pedestal again. So, once again, we'll pound away on the specters and the puppets. What's the matter? Do you want to fight me, man, to Amazon? Alright, you're dead. I, I saw your sprite steam off. Alright. Jump onto the platform and warp again. So now we want to go backwards. Because eventually, after one left and two lefts, we should find our next where Elena ended up. She should be over here. Yep. I'm in here, help! So let's swat away the puppets first. Take this and this. Go down! And so now, more reinforcements. Trio of skeletons. But we got them all. So let's talk to Elena. Are you alright? Yes. I was so scared. I came here because I wanted to help, but I'm just causing trouble. I'm so sorry. It's alright. The important thing is you're okay. Thank you, Wu. I'm okay now. I'm ready to go. Are you sure? Yes, let's go. And so that we shall do. Let's have Elena follow us. Don't worry, she just comes in the door like we do. Alright. Then have her come with you. And this time you don't have to worry about using the stinger coin. This time you can just go straight through. So... Open the switch like last time. And then summon Elena to come along and follow you. Yeah, basically we're just repeating the motions. Alright. Now, once we get back to this room, since we broke off the switch, we now have a new problem. It won't open. I shouldn't have broken the switch. Gee, what a heavy looking door! I don't think even Min's jump kit could open it. Maybe I should try hitting it. Yeah, but we have to approach it a couple of times. 
in order for Rue to actually get the strike. And there we go. Crash. Yeah, you are right. And so now off we go again. Getting into the home stretch now here. Come on, Elena. Where are you? There you are. So now we have these spinning platforms to deal with. Time your jump so that you land on it. And then make the transition over. Now we have to bring our lane over. Let's call her. So now here's the timing thing. When I tell you jump, okay? Oh, okay. Now I don't know what happens if you actually make Elena miss, and I'm not gonna find I don't not gonna we want to wanna find out. Let's just have her land on the platform safely. And then land with us. There we go. Time to move on. So now we have another switch to hit. If we get the opportunity, but uh, okay, yeah, that door is locked. This one, however, we can continue on from. What the? What happened? Well, the answer can actually be found over here in this next room. So now, we found our another special guest. It's not only the mini boss, but. It's actually Duke who's fighting the mini-boss. What's that gonna do, huh? Okay, time to finish you off. Get some of this! Sunrise uppercut! And... Boom! Goes the dynamite. And down goes the mini-boss. Who proceeds to give up the final gauntlet? So this is the gauntlet, huh? My lady's gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> Duke! There you are. Took you long enough. Man, I got so bored waiting I had to pick on a poor little guardian. They're so weak it was hardly a warm-up. You got the gauntlet in solo ways, right? Yeah, I do. They're gonna be mine after I bust you off with my new act. Yeah, he never comes up. He never has a shortage of them. Yesterday I read a book called Fist of Fire. It was so awesome I pulled an all-nighter and finished it. The map, the book had it all. Love, death matches, friendship... Man, I'm still touched by it. Got to admit I'm a little sleepy, but my heart's still revving and so is my fist of fire. Hey lady, you better go wait by the corner. You bet might get hurt. Oh, alright. <laughs> and so Elena obeys. Duke. Don't worry, I promise I'll finish you quick. Well, be careful. And so now, time to fight Duke. And so, yeah, he's a lot tougher in this fight. Plus, in addition to that, you have to deal with the fact that all of these things around you are actually dangerous. Because you can actually take damage if you strike them. In addition, Ru, among other things, Duke can do that move. Where he can launch some fire in your direction. Sometimes it'll be right on you. Other times it'll scatter in all directions. Yeah, I got you pinned in the corner, but I need to let you come loose because I don't want to get too close to those boxes out of fear that I will cause damage on myself. Ugh. Crap. Yeah, demonstration on why you don't want to be on the receiving end of that either. Yeah, we broke open a vase and it had explosives in it. And this is what makes this battle against Duke so dangerous. He wasn't really much of a threat in the two other battles, but here he actually is a threat. Because you have, you have all these things to deal with. Yeah! Now, he's almost close to actually beating me here. Come on, Duke. Bring it. And, oh. Oh, oh, wait! Whoa! Thankfully, I wasn't, I wasn't standing close enough to him. Okay, why did I turn around and hit the butt? Are you kidding me? The AI turned around and made me hit the box and I exploded and died. Damn you AI! When well, I have to show off the game over screen for the first time and use my first continue. Damn you game! But you got me again. I hate this fight! Trying it again. I'm, I'm gonna lose my freaking mind in this fight. Hey, 
this and this and that. Now, over here, you bum. Uh, well, he, he's not a bum anymore because he actually can fight now. And throws the fire at me. And of course, I'm gonna hit the box and make it explode! Yeah, hit. hit I don't care about hitting Duke, I just wanna hit these boxes and destroy them. Uh, what are you doing? You idiot! Well, at least I freed up a corner. Yeah. At least I freed up a corner, and I'm actually doing well this time. Yeah, it only took me five tries to actually get him close to dead. And yet I still can't score on him! Even when he's point blank, I still can't score on him! Like this! Ugh, you make me so mad in this fight, Duke! Come on, go down, go down, go down, I've almost got you, go down! Go down, go down, gone! Good riddance! Yeah, that only took forever. Yeah, that was nothing! But then... Ugh! What the hell? I can't get up! Duke, it's over. Thankfully. What the hell it is? I can't afford to lose! I gotta take the gauntlet back to me lady! Stop! What? Ooh, that's a big boo-boo! <laughs> Here, let me help you. Stay still. Get away from me, lady. I don't need your pity. Ah! Stop pretending, Tuki. Yeah, so... Yeah, somehow she had medical equipment, and she's gonna treat him. Thanks. Yeah, at least now you're okay. But then, something new pro a new problem arises. What's going on? Ooh, look, the wall! Yeah, we've got the old school 1930s American horror movie, Closing Wall! <laughs> yeah, it's the 1930s again! Damn, it's locked! We're gonna get squashed! Yeah, so Duke tries to hold the door in one place. Duke! Or Duke! Troll the other door! Come on, hurry up! And so he goes after the other door. And we can't find a door. It won't open! Or we can't find a handle. What? Then kick it or punch it or whatever! Just bash it open! And so, yeah, now you are racing against the clock. You literally have to keep striking this thing as much as you possibly can in order to prevent yourself from getting squashed. Because if you do get squashed, then you'll have to start the fight with Duke all over again, and you do not want that. Because that's going to be a pretty freaking nightmare. And, yeah, that wall is closing quickly because you can see the danger meter is really closing in. Oh, we got it! We got it! Let's get out of here! Because we've been in here for long enough! Way too long! Way too long, man! We've been in here way too long! And crash. Ah. Thank goodness. We finally got out! The sunshine feels so good after being in that gloomy place. Whew. At one point, I didn't think we were going to make it. Yeah, neither did I after losing, having to go five rounds with Duke. Me either, but still it was fun. Let's all do it again, okay? <laughs> and you're still as dumb a blonde as you ever were. Dye your hair back to blonde. Wash that pink ha hair dye out. And as for Duke... Woo, can we go home now? Yeah. And so... Thanks, Dookie, for all your help. I just did what I had to do to save my skin, that's all. Oh, stop pretending. I know you're a good boy. Whatever, go away. Bye, Dookie. Take care of your injuries, okay? Okay, Roo, let's go. And so as we make our way off... Hi! What is it? Now what do you want? Here, take it. What is this? 
It's the gauntlet. I'm just paying you back for treating my wounds earlier. Thanks, Duke. Shut up! I'm giving it to her, not you! But it's going to the same place. Next time I see you, you're doomed! <laughs> yeah, it does the tough guy pose again. I think he likes you. <laughs> and so away we go. There to leave Duke by himself. Yeah, so... Yeah, now he has to ponder what he's gonna have to tell Belle when he gets back. And by the way, they're staying at the Corona Hotel. What? You can't go that to her? I'm sorry, my lady. I can't believe it! How could you be so stupid? You went to all that trouble looking for it and you just give it to him? You better have a really good explanation! <laughs> he doesn't. I'm waiting! I really don't know how to explain it. Yeah, you bet. Of course he doesn't. Any other day, I would have never given it to him. But after they helped me and we all made it outside, I got the strange feeling that I had to give it to him. I kept telling myself no, but I couldn't help it. I'm so stupid, I'm really sorry. And so, you really are stupid. He is. Okay, forget it. What's done is done. No, lady, don't worry. I'm not getting soft or anything. Next time I swear, Ru next time I see Rue, I swear I'm gonna get all out and bust him up, and I'll get the gauntlet back too. I'm going to remember those words. I'm gonna stake my whole being on our next death match. Man, I'm getting sucked. It's gonna be so exciting and dramatic, just like that book. Book? What are you babbling about? Fist of fire, baby. Rue, I'm gonna live fist of fire with you. Yeah, this doesn't appease Rumel. You mom! <laughs> yeah, pure frustration. What was that all about? Maybe he really is a nutcase. But that's the least of their problems right now. Excuse me. Come back later, will ya? We're busy. I'm sorry, but I must bring this to your attention right now. It's regarding the bill. Oh no! Currently, you have an outstanding balance of 2,500 gold coins. Really? She's a completely forgot. When can we expect your payment? Uh, I'm sometime up to tomorrow. Wait tomorrow. We'll pay tomorrow. Is that alright? Thank you. Yeah, and so the door, the bellboy walks away. Yeah. Did you hear that? We're gonna have to get some money fast! Just kill a bunch of monsters and get monster coins. It's that easy. Rude does it. If we don't find the relic and get one big money, we're going to be bums! Get off your butt and fix the hexagon! Are you serious? But the hexagon's our secret weapon. I don't think we need to use it yet. Shut up! I don't care! If we don't use it now, when are we going to use it, huh? Hurry up and get it ready! Yes, milady. Damn, I can't wait to get him. He won't stand a chance against the hexagon. Rue, we're going to hurt you so bad. <laughs> yeah. And, and they'll try and make you believe it, too. So, we have now returned to Corona. With Elena safely in tow. Phew, oh sweet home. I'm a little tired, but I had so much fun today. Really? I'm exhausted. Yeah, cause Rue did all the fighting and Elena just did her son a hill bit. Hey, why don't you come have dinner with us? Really? Okay, thanks. But then... Claire? Yeah. You're not seeing things. We thought we saw Claire. Are we- is there a delusion going on right now? Where'd she go? So, asking the little boy, did you see a girl come in? About my height wearing a purple robe? A girl? No, I didn't see anyone come in. Okay, thanks. Was it my imagination? Yeah. No, that was Claire, but how? Yeah, your mind's playing tricks on you, Mr. Wu. Well, we'll get an explanation and clarification another time. 
But for now, we need to go save our game because, yeah, this file is now about half an hour long. So we are here to recover and register by saving the game. So, with the Ghost Temple now successfully completed, we can now prepare ourselves for moving on to our next destination. And we'll take care of that in the next episode. But first, we have to, of course, give the Gauntlets and the Solarays back to Dr. Klaus. So, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Threads of Fate. And when I join you again, we will give said Gauntlets and Solarays back to Dr. Klaus, and we will put them on the Prima Doll, and then we'll hopefully be able to get some information on the Phantomite we learned about in the previous episode. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care and I'll see you soon.